uh, built this little red wagon out of my dad's 1976 Mazda pickup that he had given to me uh, in the late 80s when he died, or uh, before he died. And uh, we uh, had it, uh, after I'd driven it several years, we had it just sitting around and uh, decided that we wanted to do something with it. And uh, my husband and I were in Oregon at a car show and saw a, um, a red flyer wagon sort of on a tea bucket. It was a very hot rod style kind of a thing, very attractive for that. But when we said, oh, that would make, you know, we, we could use the Mazda for that. So he, we came home from our Portland trip, and about the day after, he started tearing the Mazda apart. No changing my mind. <laughs> well, once we started doing it, then it brought back childhood memories, because we've both had flyer radio wagons, uh, radio flyer wagons in the past. And uh, when we see other people now with it, it brings back memories for them, too. And it's just really happy memories, it seems like. Oh, People wave at us, they honk at us, they, they give us a high sign, a thumbs up, they uh, congregate around us when we park. We've had people follow us for blocks and wait until we pull in and then they pull in right behind us and you know, tell us, I followed you for blocks, I was waiting for you to stop, I want to see it. And so it's just very, very spontaneous and, and seems to be very happy. Well, the radio flyer was, uh, my background is uh, home built airplanes. I have built uh, five airplanes. And so I had a pretty good background in, in composite type construction. So when we got this idea, I thought, well, I'll be able to use some of my skills. I've even uh, worked around some of the ideas about trying to put a temporary top on it or something of that nature for winter use. But we recognize that it is a convertible and, and to, to get its true meaning and everything, you really need to keep it such and, and uh, try to keep it from looking as much like a, a car as possible. Well, we started in uh, uh, in '09, and it took about uh, close to a year to build it. And um, uh, some of that, of course, was the engineering on it and uh, figuring out. We wanted to try to keep it as close to scale as possible, and we really lucked out because the Mazda uh, came about to uh, offer that uh, size that we needed. Uh, had to do a little framework and stuff like that, but it all turned out real well, and uh, this is kind of the rest of it. Oh yeah, we're going to be having a blast with it, I think, uh, especially when the warm weather hits, just to go out and, and the one thing we both enjoy about the car is just the, the smiles that it puts on people's faces, and uh, uh, I certainly enjoy it, and we always get lots of waves and things of that nature.